ever wondered if you can rock just one centre back in FM23 and still come out on top? Today, we're going to find out. A stop in Germany, Bayern Munich. We unleash the one centre back strategy, and guess what? We storm the Bundesliga, racking up a jaw dropping 85 points, with our squad netting over 200 goals. Oh, and did I mention we also clinched the treble? Next up, Paris Saint Germain. We took our tactical experiment to the French League, and the results were electrifying. Our squad managed to score over 180 goals, and we claimed the league title. Last but not least, let's head to Scotland with Celtic. We unleashed the one centre-back magic once again and we absolutely dominated the league with a whopping 107 points. Our squad on fire netted over 225 goals as a team and to top it off we secured the treble. So let's actually see how this works. So this is going to be the one at the back machine. I want to quickly say this is the perfect time to smash a like on the video if you do enjoy the content and are excited for FM24 and also thank you to all of the wonderful Patreons coming down the screen right now. This is the perfect way to support the channel and also so you get around about six perks, including access to all three of the tactical files today. You get early video and tactical release. You also get one-on-one -on -one priority help, priority in the requests, that be tactics and rebuilds, and also enroll to some pretty cool giveaways. So you can check it out and join it in the description below. But let's go ahead and talk about this tactic. So this was a request from some time ago after I made the two at the back. So instantly I thought, do you know what? I've got to give the viewers what they want. I saw countless comments of, can you try a one at the back? And today, we're going to do it. So let's go over this tactic then, guys. Some things are going to change because we are going to talk through it and explain how we actually got this absolute sensational and very weird tactic to work. Starting off with the sweeper keeper, who is going to be on support simply on the default instructions. A ball playing defender again, simply on the default instructions. The one centre back in the entire team. How weird does that sound? The wing backs are going to remain as wing backs on support, but they are going to see themselves both drop a little bit back. And playing like this, both of them with tackle harder on they actually defended really really well i'm going to pull up some stats here just to briefly show you you can see here we scored over 4.3 goals a game but the conceded with this celtic team was under a goal a game now honestly i keep it real with you guys if you're playing with a team sort of not in the sort of top three predicted you're going to easily concede over a goal a game but you are going to easily score over three and a half because of how attacking this tactic is so if you like outscoring teams this is really a good option. And alongside of that, you can see 89.89% in terms of the pass completion, over 28 shots a game, and a very high tackle win ratio. But going back to the breakdown, I like to just sort of throw them in now and then just to really show what the tactic can provide. We're not going to have two volantes, don't you worry. On the right-hand side, we are actually going to opt to have a halfback, which is going to be on the defensive duty, which I think you could probably picture coming in because we are definitely trying to look for some defensive quality in this team. Next to him, not a volante on attack. It's going to be a deep-lying playmaker, simply on defend on the default alongside of a default halfback. Now, the reason why I've gone with this deep line playmaker is because it's a very sort of aggressive defensive midfielder role. His passing is going to be a bit more direct and he is going to try and find the ball to several of these players. I mean, this is pretty much like a spaceship shape at this point, but it does work really well. And he actually picked up a lot of assists in this team. So a very good role to have in the defensive side of the tactic. Moving up the field, we are going to have that central midfield player come in on support, on dribble less, shoot less often, and tackle harder. This was by far the most tricky role to pick because I wanted a sort of balanced midfield player and I felt like the central midfield player is the perfect shout. So that's why I didn't opt to have like a Roman playmaker or a Metzala, for example. Going a little bit forward, we are going to have the AM who is going to be on support, on take more risks, run from position, and also move into channels. A player that is literally designed to cause havoc for the opposition get into loads of pockets of space and basically become untraceable. On the left-hand side, we're going to opt for an inverted winger on attack, simply on shoot more often, meaning that if obviously these wingbacks do get further forwards for some reason, the, in the inverted wingers aren't going to be out wide, you know, colliding with them. So there is a potential for an overlap opportunity. And the exact same happens on the right-hand side. And to finish it off, the advanced forward comes in simply on attack. Going over to then team instructions. By the way, this is all going to be built off a tiki taka style and a positive mentality. Firstly, let's look at the league stats very quickly. You can see here, most points per game, 2.82. Most goals, 164. Over 1,000 shots, nearly 1.1k shots in the season. Fewer shots against, best pass completion, most possession, which is 
quite easy to be fair in Scotland. But just these stats alone show how dominant this tactic can be. And if you are going to use it with a sort of mid-table team, obviously it's not designed for that because if we're making a well-at-the-back tactic, it is meant for a powerhouse team. But if you want to give it a go, I honestly think it would be okay. But I would recommend possibly have the expectation that you are going to concede one or two and hope that you are going to outscore them. I personally believe it would work. Let's crack down to the team instructions because there are going to be quite a few. In terms of the width, we are going to go one off the max. That is going to be set to fairly wide. We are going to play out from the back because I feel like we still can do that despite the limited players we have there. Passing directness is going to be set all the way down to much shorter with a slightly higher tempo. And in terms of the final third, I'm always a big fan in my generic tactics where it's not based around a manager where I get to pick the mixed crosses is going to remain. And we're also going to run at defense, which is going to push so many people forward. A team simply cannot defend it. In transition, just the free instructions. We're going to have counter press, distribute to the center backs and also take short goal kicks. So that one center back has got a lot to play in this team. So please make sure your center back has got good passing. And the reason why I wanted to get to him and have that play out from the back is because although it's a little bit more of a risk, obviously we've only got the one, he has got so many players around him, we can instantly get a move going. And because of how attacking we are, the more quickly you can transition from keeper to centre-back, to midfield, to attack, the better. So this is purely to do that. And now in terms of the out-of-possession tab, guys, we are going to have the high-pressing line of engagement alongside of that standard defensive line more often when it comes to the trigger press and also a lot of prevention on that short goalkeeper distribution. And that is going to give you the default version of the tactic, which you can see the stats from. But please do stick around because you can copy the attack and, and defensive variant all for free. You're not forced to become a patron. Obviously, if you want to, you can do so by clicking the link in the description. But let's go over and actually talk about the slightly even more attacking variant. So there is definitely an argument to be made that this is even more attacking. I personally think it could be as well. In terms of the team instructions, we're going to cover those in a second, but the player roles, the sweeper keeper is going to remain the same. The wing backs actually now go on automatic and it is going to be a bit of a change to be honest with you guys. So we are going to have cross more often, get further forward, stay wider and also tackle harder on the right. A ball playing defender in the middle, simply on defend, that is never going to change. And the wing back on the left is going to have exactly the same instructions as I previously discussed on the right hand side so a lot more sort of an involvement with their wing backs in this system going over to the midfield we're going to have a halfback on the right on defend obviously we're used to seeing that in the first variant but now we've got a bit more of a defensive element with a dm simply on defend progressing up the midfield to the next two in line a central midfield player remains in the team on supports on dribble less shoot less often and also tackle harder and the Metzala obviously is going to be a very key part in this on the default and that's because the default instructions naturally give everything I want this player to be doing so therefore we have no reason to add anything to him hence why he is going to remain the same and to finish it off the front three consists of an inverted winger on attack on the default, on the right-hand side, exactly the same. And also, we are going to have the advanced forward, which is going to be on attack. And if you're wondering why the inverted wingers obviously haven't got that shoot more often on, it's because I wanted to try something a little bit different and obviously switch up the tactics. And this performs really well as well. This is more focused on actually the wingbacks getting heavily involved. So it's why I personally think it's a lot more attacking because they really will push up and obviously help create chances for that front three. So it is a very fun way of playing and one which I definitely think you should add to your collection. Now, going over to the team instructions, again, it is going to be set off a positive mentality. We're going to have fairly wide overlap left, overlap right while playing out from the back. We're still going to maintain these two little bits of instructions here. But the one big change is going to be the hit early crosses. Really aimed at them fullbacks to get the ball into the box and also the wingers, I guess, but mainly for the fullbacks to have a positive impact and really cause havoc for any team we play against. In transition, we're going to be holding down the exact same instructions because, again, it works very, very well. I feel like if we had counter-attack on, it might be a bit too overkill with this formation, hence why I didn't. But if you really want to go attacking, that is something else you could also change. And last, but definitely not least, the out of possession tab, which is going to remain exactly the same. So not going to waste your time with this one. We simply had no room to change it. And I've saved the best till last. You know what I like to do? I like to surprise you guys, reward the people that are at the point of the video at the end of the day. This is the most attacking variant as we actually have a front five 
absolutely mental. It's going to start off with a sweeper keeper on support, a wing back on the right on automatic on tackle harder, a ball playing defender in the middle simply on defend, and a wing back on the left on automatic simply on tackle harder. So it remains sort of practically is the same as that first variant, obviously on the automatic role instead. So it is going to be a solid back three almost, but with one official centre back, a DM on the right this time on defend on tackle harder, and next to him a half back on defend also on tackle harder. So a very defensive midfield pairing here because that allows us to have this ray of fun on the left hand side an inverted winger on attack on shoot more often an am on the left hand side of the centralized area on support on take more risks run from position and also move into channels a shadow striker comes in believe it or not on the default instruction and an inverted winger comes in on shoot more often as well now this front four actually surprised me how well it was sort of interlocked together and did play well because you've got a couple of players in these two that are going to free roam drift about get all i don't know why i'm moving like that sort of drifted into different areas of space and it is just so dangerous and honestly you have so much fun playing with this tactic obviously you are going to concede a goal a game but you can easily outscore any team and i genuinely genuinely do believe that and to finish it off the advanced sword is simply going to be on attack and over to them team instructions again it is going to be a positive mentality that is because i genuinely believe if you went attacking it would be too far fairly wide is going to be set when it comes to the attack and width playing out from the back is always going to remain these two instructions also remain unchanged alongside of the dribbling and the final third in transition we're going to have counter press and counter the first time we've actually gambled having counter on and you can see here the sheer amount of plays that are going to get forward and commit to that counter attack which is why i saved the most attack and one till the last because this is really for some people that i would advise after a little bit of fun and try to just completely send full send a game because this is exactly what it's designed to do and while doing that we're going to distribute to the center backs while taking short goal kicks and last but definitely not least to end this perfect video in terms of the out of possession you're going to have the standard defensive line the high press and line of engagement more often and prevent short goalkeeper distribution and that is going to give you guys the one at the back machine in free beautiful variants if you have enjoyed today's video please smash the like button and please do subscribe because we are absolutely killing it right now and also if you have got any sort of challenge tactics you want to see please leave a comment maybe we could do one with bloody seven defenders at the back or something it might now be an fm24 but i will get it added to the list but enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one